today's video I'd like to take a look at the open Windows compatibility packages. Um, someone has kindly put together an extract of the Solaris 8 packages plus some patches that will work on Solaris 9 or 10. I don't know about 11, uh, but let's look at Solaris 10. Uh, this is for both x86 and Spark. So let me bring over the distributions. I have not tried this yet, so this is going to be an experiment. And we will see how it goes. So as you can see, there's a source zip file, one for Spark and one for 386, and a README. Let's bring all those over. And let's take a look, show what the situation is. So here I have my remote X for the, the login. And you get common desktop or Java desktop. Neither of which is really suiting me right now. So let's see what we can do here. Take a look at the readme. See how this is. So there's the fellow's name. Don't want to pronounce that. Um, also looks like uh, from a similar source are packages for Red Hat Enterprise. So leave a comment if you'd like to see a similar procedure performed for, well, Scientific Linux or CentOS. Um, so you get the Solaris 8 open windows. Uh, you also get OLVWM, which is actually pretty handy. Uh, not so familiar with these other uh, utilities, but we'll take a quick look. Let me just... Did I miss anything? And I did. So unzip and run upgrade packages. That was pretty fast. That was pretty fast. Um, not much sense in scrolling back there. So this is unlikely to have reflected yet. Yeah. We got graphical login. Let's just reboot and see if that will bring it up. So I'll put a link in the description to uh, where I grabbed these uh, so that you might grab them. Here's the, uh, the VirtualBox console here. And Zephyr has not come back up yet, but we're just getting it there. So check that open Windows desktop. This is fantastic. Let's see how this looks. Okay, so I get a prompt for common desktop. Why would I get that for open? Oh, this is fantastic. So yeah, I'm not going to get display proscript. Oh, this is this is great. So this is that disk tool. So I guess this is just looking at a few file systems. Okay, not terribly interesting. Get the file manager. Text editor. 
I mean, that was one of the strengths, I think, of of open windows. And, and check out... Eh, eh, the arrow cursor is a little off, but I can live with that. Dump tool. That's what it looks like for making backups. And so this is OLVWM. So we get virtual desktops. Pull up one of the demos. That's pretty fast. Uh, so I think this is a success. Um, so now you can have the best of all worlds, right? The one reason I kept Solaris 8 around, one is a little bit more lightweight. So for some of the older Spark hardware. So obviously the 32-bit Spark 8 is kind of the last place you want to go. But then for my 64-bit Spark, say the Sunblade 1000, I could be running 10, uh, but I ran 8 simply to get open look. Open windows, I should say. But now you can do open windows on Spark uh, and 386 in Slayer's 10. So you get the best of all worlds. You get D-Trace, ZFS, and open windows. Uh, so, th so this is pretty, pretty nifty. Um, probably going to end it here. Short video. Um, just kind of, kind of demoed this um, and tried it out, and I'm sold. Um, and do leave a note if you want to see this on uh, some flavor of Red Hat. Um, I think that might also be interesting. So, uh, thanks for watching. And um, if anything else you can think of uh, around open windows. Let me know. I'm just uh, excited now. I'm going to go play around with my new, my new open windows on Slayer's 10 VM.